Hi everybody, today is our official last art lesson of the 2019-2020 school year. If you notice behind me, there's all the different projects that we did, including my salt clay zombie ornaments that are hanging up over here. So for our very last project today, I was very excited to do this one. It's kind of like a grand finale for us. Since summer's right around the corner, I've been hearing the ice cream man coming around my neighborhood. Maybe you guys have too. And along with ice cream trucks, what else happens now in the summertime? We get a lot of food trucks. So today, I'm going to teach you how to draw your very own food truck. And my big awesome inspiration was this. Right here, this says Hawaii Bubble Tea. Hawaii Bubble Tea is a real place that my friend Krista owns, and it's close by Cheyenne. It's live by Cheyenne, and it's really close to this. And she has a store as well as her very own food truck, which hopefully will get rolling this summer. So I am going to teach you how to create your very own food truck. I drew this one a little bit smaller. So it has the basic, and then you can turn it into any kind of food truck that you would like. I have one behind me that Mr. Schultz made with some sandwiches, because uh, he loves them. So he had a lot of fun with that, and I can't wait to show you how to draw this. We're going to do this right now. Here's how we'll start to draw our food truck. You need something to trace with that's going to be a circle shape. To make those wheels so I'm going to place my circle a little bit above the very bottom of the paper maybe a finger worth right like this and I'm going to trace the center of this because that'll help me with a hubcap eventually I'm going to go around there if you don't have a small roll of tape you could use a juice glass or some other circle shape that you've got I'm going to make another circle again giving it a little space so I can draw in the ground later I'm going to trace this. Now I'm going to use my handy ruler or find a straight edge and I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the page like this. Now I'm going to make the bottom of the truck. So when I make the bottom I'm going to make a line on the right hand side and in the middle and on the left. It's going to be big and fill the page. Now this food truck that we're going to make is like a big box. So when we're making that big box, make that line show up here. What I'm going to do is create a back section here for a bumper and just hand draw that in. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make a straight line going way up the page. I'm actually going to do my line on this side so I can see that little bit of a gap and head upwards, but stop just about again towards the top, about a finger's worth of space. So I started my back part of my truck. I'm going to go across the truck to make the top of the food truck like this. And I'm gonna stop about halfway above this front tire. It's just a little mark here for myself. So when I remove my ruler, it doesn't look quite done yet because we're gonna change the front end of the truck. So what I'll do next is I'm going to angle down for the front of the truck. And by angling down, I can use my ruler to create a diagonal line that's heading out. And I'm gonna go down a couple inches that's like two or three, and I'm gonna take a look at what I have so far. I'm liking that, so I'm gonna bring my line out and just curve it out, and then drop that line down to the bottom here. So it's connected. So I have this short front to my food truck. I could add another little rectangle here to make it like a bumper, like I have this bumper back here as well. And now I have that angle to get into the front of the truck with the windows and the door. So with the door, I'm going to go behind this front wheel I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to move it over about two, maybe three fingers worth. And I'm going to draw a line top to bottom. 
just to make it easy for all of us drawing. So I make that line, and now I'm going to have another angle, another diagonal line, like this one we did over here. Now it's going to go this way for part of the door, so we get this cool, funky door. So I'm going to angle my ruler. I'm going to go from the bottom and work my way up, but I'm going to stop again about halfway above that tire. And if it's not exact, that's okay. I may just erase a little bit because I want to bring my line back in to create that door. So from this angle I just created, I am going to have a nice straight vertical line go upwards. And this shape here is going to turn into the door. So I'm going to include a window in here and a door handle. So for my window, I am just going to draw it in. I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm going to give it some curved corners. Connect it so it's a rectangle with the curves. And then I'm going to make a shape that's like a triangle. It's going to have some curved corners as well. This is part of the front window as well on this food truck. So I'm going to drop a line down. I'm going to curve it around, curve it again. So it's kind of lining up with that other window I created and bring the line up to close the shape. I'm going to put in a little door handle with a little rectangle shape another rectangle inside of it as though it's a little little latch part to open it up and then lastly i could add some things like maybe i want some reflectors on the side if you want to include a mirror because this big truck they got to be able to see from behind i'm going to include a mirror so i'm drawing two lines that are coming off of the window and i'm going to make another little angle and a little circle shape as though that's going to be my mirror. If you don't want to include that, that's fine. But now you can see the paper's filled. It's basically one big box here in the back end. And then just by creating a couple angles, we have the front end of our food truck. This area here now, you could design a big window, you could design a big sign, whatever you would like to do. I'm not going to draw anything in it. I'm going to outline it just so you can see what I did again, if you are following along or need to catch up. And we'll go from there. everybody to have